letter to the editor writing party. So just quick Zoom etiquette. Um, if you're not speaking, mute your microphone. And if you have a question at any point, feel free to put an asterisk in the chat. Um, or there is a raise hand feature on Zoom if you have a question. Um, since there aren't that many of us, if I'm not seeing the chat, feel free to just jump in and cut me off and I will answer your question. Cool. Um, could I get a volunteer to read this quote for me? Uh, newspapers publish letters to the editor as a space for social debate on opinions or to discuss issues missed by the regular news. Uh, they're written with a clear opinion and chosen by the editor of the paper. Uh, they're popular because they're amongst the most the most read sections in the newspaper. Awesome, thank you. So this is a quote from 350.org's resource on writing letters to the editor. Um, it's really helpful because people tend to forget that this is one of the most popular sections of the paper. People really like to hear what the folks in their community are thinking. So a few tips and tricks for writing a letter to the editor. First, make sure you have a clear idea of what you want to say. Um, you don't have to get caught up with flowery language here. It's not a five page essay. Um, I find ed letters to the editor that get published most often are short to the point and they make a strong uh, statement or ask of the reader. Another thing is to put the most important ideas first. Sometimes a newspaper will only publish part of your letter. Um, so as long as you get your main idea into uh, an earlier section of the letter, it's more likely to make it into paper. Um, and then if you have a personal story or connection to the specific issue you're writing about or the thing you're concerned about, use that personal story. It makes these even stronger. If you want to use a general sort of outline for writing your letter to the editor, um, there are a multitude of ways that you could write uh, a letter. Usually the papers are accepting letters from 250 words up to like 600 words maybe is the biggest that I've seen in a New Hampshire paper. Um, but this is one of the forms you can use if you want a little bit more structure to how to write your letter. Uh, so in the first paragraph, you wanna start by introducing your topic or the problem that you're going to be addressing in your letter, and then use one to two sentences to explain why that is important, why you're writing to the editor, and conclude that first paragraph with, this needs to happen to fix the problem, or um, whatever you want your main point to be that people should take with them for the rest of the letter. The second paragraph is a good place to put in an anecdote, write a personal story or reason or uh, expand upon what the issue is and how it is important to you or how it is important to the state of New Hampshire. Um, the things that I've seen published most often in New Hampshire papers are very specific to like how whatever the problem is is going to affect Granite Staters. And then in the third paragraph, if this is your last paragraph. Um, this is a good place to offer a solution to the problem, to expand upon your thesis or main point that you put in the first paragraph, and then to conclude with a strong statement that's either calling people who are reading the, the letter to take some kind of an action or ending the letter with some kind of call to an elected official about something that they should do or even something a little more personal about like what is at stake with whatever the problem or issue you're talking about is. After you write the letter, always proofread. Uh, it's a really good idea to also partner up with someone and have them read your work. I find that if I just send something in without me getting a second set of eyes on it, I probably missed something or they saw something that I wrote didn't really make sense or something that made sense in my head didn't actually make sense out loud. So for the rest of our time here tonight, um, we're gonna start writing a letter. So I wanted to provide some ideas and some examples for you um, and some, some topics that you can take 
to write about. So tonight you could write about how the coronavirus is impacting the economy, um, why America needs to come together now more than ever, your own thoughts on the response thus far to COVID-19. Um, 350 New Hampshire also wrote a joint petition with some other organizations to Governor Sununu about some of the actions that we thought he should take in order to protect our communities and make sure that health comes first and that uh, things like paid leave are provided for people who are getting sick in this time. Um, so those are, those are some ideas, if any of those spark something for you. If you also came to this training with an idea that you were already planning on writing on, go with it. The best topic is the topic that you are excited about, um, not the one that I am excited about, what you're excited about. Um, and then another thing that we can do with letters to the editor is um, responding to something that was already published. So these four links that I have here, and I'm going to share this slideshow with you so you can open the links if you want to, um, are just a few articles that were written and published in New Hampshire papers in the last three or four days, I think I looked at, um, that are related in some way to climate. So the first one talks about uh, using this pandemic to rebuild our world for the better, and that one is about how renewable energy can help get people back to work. Um, the second one is about the ways that our response to coronavirus can be used as tools to respond to the climate crisis. Uh, the third one is about an oil spill that happened. And the fourth one is about New Hampshire's legislators who wrote, uh, recently met online <laughs> to talk about renewable energy for New Hampshire and what that legislation is going to look like next. So if you're responding to one of those, my advice is to open the article, read it, think about something that maybe the article lacked that you want to add to the story or make a connection to the story and reinforce some of the ideas that are in it. 